My work concerns uh, the problem of protecting data, so guaranteeing security privacy of uh, data and, uh, and information. And uh, in this area, I've looked at uh, several aspects, several problems. One was the problem of uh, specifying and enforcing uh, uh, access control restrictions on data, so regulating access and usage uh, of data. We have, uh, w with my collaborators, we have worked on uh, uh, languages and models uh, providing uh, a way to uh, express uh, security specification, access control specifications in a flexible, powerful and extensible way. I think that was, you know, when I uh, started computer science, I was just following my natural inclination, so what I like to do. And uh, among the topics, I found uh, data protection particularly interesting. So I started looking at the problem and, uh, and that was 25 years ago and uh, you know, there are always new problems to look at. <laughs> so I think, you know, the field changes, new applications come out, new challenges come out. The first time I heard about Professor Samarati has been through her renowned uh, publications uh, on uh, data security and privacy. Then recently I had the honor and pleasure to meet her in person and to collaborate with her uh, for the organization of the IEEE World Forum on the Internet of Things. Data protection is today under the, the, the attention of, uh, of many people like you know, organizations, uh, states, governments, and the everyday man, right? Because uh, there is just uh, tons of data going around, tons of data sources. Think of wearable devices that people have, think of uh, cyber physical systems, think of uh, everybody's using uh, cloud social applications and, and so forth for, uh, uh, for sharing information. So I, I think there are uh, many challenges to, to look at with respect to ensuring that uh, people and uh, organizations can uh, benefit from the new technologies, for the advancements of new technologies, without giving up the uh, protection, the need the protection over the data and the right to control it. We mentioned before the problem of security and privacy. So when uh, it comes to the news, because there is a privacy violation or because you know some data has been leaked and so forth, then it gets a hype and it gets a lot of attention. But in general, the problem is actually much more complex than that and entails different uh, different problems and, scenari and, uh, and scenarios. So even without uh, going into the hype of the you know, individual information that has been leaked, there are uh, really tons of problems related to controlling and providing a way to have a selective sharing, selective publication, selective data release. So, you know, enjoying the, the technologies and enjoying the functionalities, for instance, on the application, think of, of the cloud, or uh, think of the open data initiatives, like you need to release data, you want to release data, but at the same time, maintain private information you want to maintain. And they could testify not only her technical, extremely uh, renowned expertise in the field, but also a exceptional organizational ability and her leading uh, capability. My, my work includes also addressing threats, if you like. So when you think about security, you always think of an attack, right? But uh, um, I usually say that uh, we would have the security problem even if everybody was honest, even if you don't have intruders, even if you don't have attackers, because uh, there is the natural problem of uh, uh, providing control of the information. So for instance, you know, in most of my work, uh, the threat, if you like, the attacker, is not necessarily a malicious guy, but is an observer of the data. And uh, if you think of health information, financial information, or company sensitive information, uh, you need to protect the information even from the honest guy because uh, if uh, by legislation or uh, you know, privacy regulations because the data are sensitive to you, you want to make sure they are protected. So the threats that are there and uh, do not necessarily come from uh, somebody being malicious or somebody attacking you, but is uh, you know, the problem of uh, guaranteeing protection, proper working, and guaranteeing that you have control of uh, what is released or have control of the correctness of the data you retrieve or the computations. Right now I'm looking into the problems of uh, protecting data and information for uh, emerging scenarios. So for instance, think of uh, cloud scenarios, smart cities, uh, Internet of Things, uh, open data initiatives, need, need for uh, a collaborative applications and uh, you know, selective sharing of information among different, uh, different authorities. So we are looking into the problem of uh, 
Protecting data, for instance, when you rely on external sources for storing, processing, or managing them. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Professor Pier Angela Samarati. I say, you know, my personal motto is uh, always do your best. No. Always try to do your best in everything that, uh, that you do and try to make a difference. And do things, uh, at least, uh, you know, to form my research work. I don't work because I have to, that I would hate that, but I work because I like to. And uh, my, I also like to, I like rigor and cleanness in the work, you know, especially, you know, when brainstorming, you spend endless night thinking of a problem and so forth. But eventually, you know, I like coming up with clean solutions, I like rigor, and that is the message I, I like to pass on to, 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 my, to the young generations, to my students and scholars. Uh, don't work because you have to, you have to like your work, because you have to enjoy what you do. I'd like to thank uh, all those who contributed and made this possible. So my thoughts uh, goes to my collaborators uh, for uh, the contributions to the work, for uh, the continuous support, and for uh, the enjoyment in work. And uh, I'm also deeply grateful to my family and my mentors for advice, support, and everything I learned from them. So, thank you. She's really a pioneer in the field of security and privacy. Uh, she's uh, an exceptional uh, scientist, uh, an exceptional professor, and a great leader. You know, with respect to, to winning this award, I'm really humbled and honored. And I think research is already rewarding by itself. Like, you know, I like what I do, I love what I do, so I find the enjoyment in the world doesn't feel like work to me. But it's uh, really, uh, it, it, it's really an honor when peers of your community recognize what you've done and gives you a burst of energy for continuing and even working, work, working harder, I mean, continuing in that direction. And uh, I think that is important as well. And I think uh, r is exemplary in recognizing the importance of uh, recognizing people, recognizing peers for their contribution, their service, and so on. So I like to build on this on my own little, and uh, the award is uh, associated with uh, you know, a small honorarium process. And uh, I plan to pass that on to the Italian uh, chapter of the Tripoli Computer Society for establishing an award for the best PhD thesis in computer science and information engineering as a message uh, to build on the uh, uh, activity on this as a message to the young generation as an incentive and recognition for their work. Mm -hmm.